Josh, we're going to talk about this, uh, this very special album that came out. came out yesterday, 26 years ago. Y'all know what I'm talking about. An acid bath album called When the Kite String Pops. So, I'm trying to think of some cool shit to talk about, but uh, 26 years, it seems like it was just yesterday. But um, I was talking with my friend uh, Joel at Full Blown Paint, and he was asking some questions about the guitar rigs and such. Uh, the guitar rigs we use are pretty simple. It was, uh, I was using, I used a mix of a Marshall JCM 900, Marshall JCM 900 and a mix of my Randall RG 100 ES with a Ibanez Tube Screamer for the distorted sounds. Mike used a PV, PV Butcher. He used a PV Butcher with a Rocktron Max preamp ran in front of it for the distorted sounds. And I believe for the clean guitars, we used some amp they had in the studio that sounded really good for the clean sounds. Because, you know, Marshall Half Stack and a PV Half Stack does, it isn't really known for its pristine clean sounds. So it was some PV or some Fender that they had in the studio that we used for the clean tones on the album. But in the guitars we used, uh, Mike was using a... Mike was using a Kramer Pacer? Kramer Pacer that had been painted completely black. He used that. It was, a, it was a real one. It was an old. It was a USA model. Old one that had been painted completely black with an EMG 81. And I used an Ibanez Rocket Roll. Rocket Roll V with an with a, uh, EMG 81. So that's all we basically used on the album for, this, for the distorted tones. It was real simple. But, uh... We recorded it with Greg Troyer at his home studio thing that he had going on. And uh, Spike Cassidy from DRI helped produce the record as well. Yeah, and uh, that was a fun record to make, you know, because it was... Um, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Fat City. But there's this area in Metairie called Fat City where all the bars were. And it was like right across the street from where we were recording... So you had, like, you had all the old clubs in Fat City, like Dino's Rock Box and Zeppelin's and The Last Stop and all that shit. So, needless to say, making that record was pretty chaotic. It's a fun record to make. And we had, like, this little, they rented us like it was like a, it wasn't like a motel room. It was like an apartment they rented us. That was literally like three blocks away from all that. So it was just it was just mayhem the entire process of making that record. <laughs> it was good times. It was real good times. But anyway. 